Hey, all you viewers to be Dame Later, how we doing today? I know, we hardly ever feature anything from Cold Steel. <coughs> no COVID, just fat boy days. So I figured, why not let's change that today? Got a pretty big box here today, right? Well, that's what we're going to be taking a look at. This big box made me laugh, because as you saw by the thumbnail and everything else you clicked on, today we're going to take a look at the Burden Trout Fixed Blade. Seriously. Big box. Itty bitty blade. Big box. But okay. So here it is in all of its really glory. All right. I looked at that and I went, <laughs> I, I can see some uses for that. You know, I thought, all right, let's, let's go ahead and bring this thing to the channel. The one thing about this I didn't like is, as you saw, I replaced, I should say, I, I did the paracord um, lanyard. It gave you that bead and chain thing since, you know, anybody who's ever been in the military and had to wear these things for any length of time, you learned you despise these things. But still, all right, let's get into the fun stuff like we usually do. Now, this is a modern version of a hundred year old classic design that was treasured by hunters and fishermen. And I can see it. It's small enough, compact enough. You can get your finger in there. You can kind of drop it down for a moment while you're doing things. And of course, I try and I screw that up, slide it back up, and you're ready to go with whatever processing. So it has an overall length of about 6.31 inches. The blade itself is about 2.25, and the handle's 4.06. It has a pathetically minor weight of 0 0.8 ounces. It weighs less than an ounce. So yeah, you're really not going to remember you're carrying this thing around your neck or on your gear. Now, it is done with a spear point style with a plain edge and a flat grind. It has that great Japanese steel of Aus 8A. I know some people hate it. Some people like it. We do have a bead blast finish on this guy, which just looks outstanding. It is gray in color, and they call this a Concealex polymer sheath. Now, the one thing, oh, yeah, and it is made in Taiwan. The one thing that made me giggle is for a little bit, it took me a moment to figure out that little flap. Because I'm like, okay, well, why aren't you going in? You just got to move that flap. It goes in, locks it in place. Pull the flap, pull it out, no problem. All right. Now, for this guy, we're going to do some cut tests here in a moment. All right? They're going to do the same three that we usually do here on the channel. I should say same three. And if you're curious why we do these three, take a look right up there. There's going to be a card for why I do these cut tests. First one up, as usual, heavy-duty stock paper. It just sounds so... I don't know, there's something so satisfying, like when you're cutting through that paper. All right, let's see if we can get a curly cue. All right, well, it starts to... <laughs> it starts to turn in on itself. One of the big reasons I like to do those is anyone can just grab a blade and go sharp when it's really not. But if you drag that thing on a constant edge, go slow enough, that paper should start to fold back in on itself to show you there's really no pits, chips, micro abrasions, anything like that. We did pick up a little bit of snowfall. No big deal. All right, the bane of my reviewer's existence recently. Yeah, paracord. Pull test. Oh, God. Wow! Sorry. I expected a lot worse. <laughs> I just seriously smacked the camera a moment ago with a review I was doing from the same batch of paracord, but still. All right, slice. Not the best looking cuts, but okay. And let's see how Mr. Ratchet Strap does. Burned right through it, no problem. And as we always do after cut tests, really don't see any rolling, folding, chips, glints, anything. Okay, I'm good with that. Now, I did the homework and everything else on this on June 18th, 2021. And we're for, eh, I'm currently filming this video June 19th, 2021. I found it on Amazon Cold Steel and Blade HQ. On Blade HQ, 1995. Cold Steel, $29.99. Amazon 1999 and it is prime eligible. It's been reviewed one time on Blade HQ and got a four out of five star rating. Has not been reviewed on Cold Steel. 
And on Amazon, it's been reviewed 155 times for a 4.6 out of 5 star rating. Now, we're at the best part of the video for me. Ready? Ready? Can we get that drum roll? That... I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, and anger. All that fun stuff right down below in the comment section. Do you think this little guy is a nice or an F-bomb? A nice or an F-bomb? I swear to God, guys, one of these days I'm going to remember to bring those patches back, okay? I just hurry up to do stuff. You know, I got a bunch of kids running around my house, so filming time is rather precious. Yeah, the precious, the precious. Ugh, too much caffeine. All right. Now, with all that fun stuff that I just got done doing, like I said, I can see some uses for it and some fun. It's been enjoyable to carry as a neck knife. It really hasn't caused a lot of people to go like, what's that? Which made me go, okay, with basically that big, huge thing sticking down, but still. All right, man, for you first-time viewers on my channel, I just want to say, hey, thanks so much for putting up with my insanity and choosing this channel. I know we like to do things a little bit differently here on this channel, and I hope you like what you saw. Now, for you first-timers and you long-time viewers who have yet to subscribe, well, my question is why. What can I do to earn your subscription? Why don't you leave me a comment right down below, and let's see how you might be able to change the course of the history of this channel. After you guys have done that fun stuff, <coughs> take a look right down there in that corner. You're going to see a big channel symbol popping up. Go ahead, click on that thing. It's going to bring you right to subscribe. After you've gone ahead and knocked that out the way, Please, if you so choose, destroy that little bell icon that's right next to it. Why? Great question. Because that's going to let YouTube notify you, my amazing viewer, every single time this channel basically uploads a brand new video. Now, speaking of those videos that we love so much on YouTube, two will be popping up right over here. Those are going to be videos that YouTube's going to select from my current catalog that they feel are going to be a great viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. My quick tabletop review of the Cold Steel Burden Trout Fixed Blade. Thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are having a great day, a safe day, and I'll see all of you in our very next video.